boom, we can go ahead and get into it. Jeanette in the building. How are you today? I'm excellent. All and right. I hope you're well, too. All right. I appreciate you uh, coming on to the show and uh, sharing, uh, you know, sharing your experience with us and everything. But before we do all of that, uh, go ahead and introduce yourself and let us know what you was doing prior to trucking. Um, I've done so many things because I'm not as young as all the other people I hang around with. Mm -hmm. I happen to be 66 years old. Okay, okay. I received my uh, CDL back in 1988 oh. when women... Back during the time it when it was where it was scarce for you guys. It was very, very scarce. And I was a woman who always wore dresses and no pants. And the first bit of discrimination I felt was the man told me, he said, now, miss, you're going to have to get up under that truck and tell me where everything is. And I said, oh, I can do that. He said, but you have on a dress. I said, I can do it with a dress. And I got down on that ground with that stick, pointed to everything that I needed to point to, and I got my CDL license. Oh, and oh, I kept it up oh, up Jean until... Jeanette, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Jeanette, yes, you sir. you need to tell me, we we had back back in that day, back back during that time, because now ground, or at least I didn't get on the ground and point. Oh really? It. No. So back during that time, they made you get on the ground and 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 point up under the truck as well. We talking about up yes. under the truck and trailer, right? Yes, you had to stick your fingers in those treads on the tires. Mm hmm. You had to know how many inches. You had to know every single thing about that vehicle before mm. you got that CDL. And they didn't think a woman can do it, and I was the only woman in the group. Mm. And I'm black. Uh, they, so I already had two strikes against me. All right, so they made, so, so they made you guys know every nook and cranny of the truck before y'all got your CDLs. Yes. After that, you what, had to know everything. After that, what was the first company that you rocked out with? Well, it's um, I went for um, a city job, mm -hmm. and I did that for a while. That's a, that's a New York call that keeps buzzing me. I should cut that off. I uh, never really ever really worked for a company. Mm -hmm. I went from doing that to driving a school bus. I only took the CDL course and drove a CDL for a short period of a time because I wanted to go to nursing school. Hmm. And I needed that as a springboard because at that time it was they were very prejudiced towards women in the trucking industry. I can very. imagine. Can you can you tell us uh can you tell us some of the issues that you had back in the day uh, other other than what you already told us? Well, I'm from New York City. And they had the Teamsters Union up there, mm -hmm. and they didn't like women. Mm. So women were kind of like, you could ride with your husband. And I'm not saying ride with your boyfriend. It was ride with your husband. But it was not where they really trusted us to drive. Mm. So it wasn't a thing where I could really get into it because of the discrimination. So and then they said, well, okay, Go drive school buses. So I drove school buses for a little while. They would allow me to do that. But then they was, you know, it was still that little bit of, you're a female. You need to be in the kitchen. Mm. You need to be home with the kids, okay? Mm, mm, mm. So I didn't really get into it, and I'm just now getting interested in it again, but I am not in good health. I was in an accident mm. on a bus. So I am not doing it anymore, but I have recovered from it. The state took my uh, CDL from me, so I can't even go drive a, a bus to take people on trips. We'll 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 but talk I about recovered. we'll we'll talk about we'll talk about that in a second. Um, so doing so so back then it was real real tough for you guys back then. It was just about impossible. 
Do you think it do, was just not impossible? Do Do you think your Do you think your uh, white female counterparts had the same problems as you? No. No. There was a few. There you saw more white females than you saw black females. Mm-hmm. And most of the time, they were what? Now they could they could kind of basically ride with their ride with their boyfriends, but most of the time they wanted us to um to be married. I remember somewhere they had wanted a marriage certificate. Mm-hmm. I'm like, really? They, they found all kinds of ways to discriminate, and I'm so happy that I'm seeing doors open that were never open before, and opportunities. Do you? Now let me ask you this, uh, Jeanette. Do you think do you think today's women, uh, you know, the 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 influx of women that's coming into the industry today, do you think they could have handled being in the industry during the time you was there? No. No, because the women of today are very quick to speak and speak their minds, mm-hmm. and men don't like that. Mm. especially men in authority, and especially men with pink skin in authority. Mm. That's what's up, man. So you drove school bus even though you had your Class A. Yes. But driving school bus really wasn't your first choice. No. Mm -mm. (laughs) How was... How was your time with the kids? What, what, what's some interesting stories you got for us uh, during your time as a school bus driver? You know, the children liked me. I thought the children were terrible. But as the years went by and the children grew up, they came back to tell me, you know, you were right. You was right. Thank you for getting on me. Matter of fact, I am such a mother now that, other people's children respect me because I'm tough. I'm from the old school. And this new way of living, it's not cutting it. Mm-hmm. It's not. It gets you in more trouble than it's worth. Kids oh. kids these days is so disrespectful. It's it's crazy. But do you think do you think the kids that's being disrespectful is coming from the parents that's allowing that? You know what? It's not that the parents are allowing it. The parents have not been taught. They don't know any better. You know, back back during my time, you know, in school and everything, we, we had what was called capital punishment. You know, people, kids these days don't even know what capital punishment means. <laughs> you know, back then, we, we had SWATs. Am I pronouncing that right? I hope I am. Uh, we had paddles. Paddles. You know, teachers, you know, gave us like maybe like two or three uh paddles on the on the behind to get to get back in line. And back then it it it, it wasn't no no stipulations, no punishment for the teacher to do it. Hey uh Mr. No, Johnson. Guess what? Miss Mr. I'm gonna Johnson. I'm gonna take you back a little further. Mm-hmm. Deshaun, let me take you back back to the sixties. Okay. If you if you cursed or you talked too much, you went to the sink and the teacher washed your mouth out with a piece of brown soap. Mm. And that and that was and and that was that was going on back in the day, huh? Yes. You chew gum, it's it's going to be stuck on your nose. Hmm. But now so they, they shamed you. They shamed you into behavior. Mm-hmm. And you and you know what? You learned how to behave yourself and carry yourself in any kind of situation. Mm. Nowadays but now now nowadays students students uh step to their teachers. Like they took that type of power out of the teachers' hands. Uh-huh. You know? Today's teachers are afraid to even to 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 even discipline a student because they might get repercussions from from the school and or the parent. 
And that's why we got homeschooling, which is, I don't like homeschooling. I don't care for it Mm -hmm. because I feel you don't learn how to deal with people and how to live in the real world. Mm. Homeschooling. I feel you need to be out in the public and learn what, how people deal with each other. Mm -hmm. But, this is the world that we live in now, and because prejudice is back on the rise, and that's why I'm so proud to see these women really doing something. Mm-hmm. They're allowed to own a trust now. It's not like, where's your husband at? Back then, you, know, it's, back then you guys wasn't even able to able to own a truck. How how no. much how much was it? How 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 much would you how much you was averaging? When you when you was driving school bus and then when you converted over to driving tractor trailers, what what was your uh, what was the pay like back then for women? Uh, you know, we never you never discussed that with a man, mm. but it was never ever it was never ever equal. It was going to be one or two hundred dollars always less, and if you was assigned a route. The woman was going to get the harder one. She was going to get the or the worst paying ones. Yeah, we were getting the bottom. Wow, that's crazy. I, you know, I didn't. I, it's a few females that I talked to, uh, you know, old school females, but you you guys do touch on the 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 same points as it were um that it was kind of it was kind of grimy it was kind of grimy and hard for you guys back then for for over the road uh female truck drivers back then um how did you guys handle how 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 did you guys handle the you know getting treated like finding places to 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 wash up Finding places to rest, finding places to uh, to take care of your, you know, your your hygiene. Those places were dangerous, and you better take your pistol. Uh-huh. Back then, it wasn't a problem of you taking a uh, weapon of sorts, huh? Uh, no. <laughs> so, Jeanette. You will agree with me that today's people need to to really respect what old school drivers went through back in the day. Yes, because now you can pull a whole little apartment. You got a bed. You got a microwave. Some of them even now, I think, have showers, little stoves and sinks. I mean, I was looking at all the trucks and I said, look at this here. Imagine the money I could make if I could drive this, but three hundred and three hundred and sixty thousand dollars is a lot of money. Mm-hmm. But but if I was younger, with what I had, if I had what I have now, I could afford it. But back then, I could have never dreamed of this because it, there was no place to sleep before. Mm-hmm. And you get some of those straight up cabs with just two seats in it. That was ridiculous. And you had to pull over somewhere and rest. And it was dangerous. So you dressed up like a boy. You put on a cap. You don't put on any makeup. And you get up in there and off you go. What do you what what do you say now and and you did all of that for safety purposes? That was for safety. Man, Janine, what do you what do you say to all the what, what do you say about the female truckers of the day now that just coming on social media? They're brave. They are brave. Uh, you Those know, are just, some strong just women. walking around. You know, with they with they feminine they they feminine them hind parts out and 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 you know and just ah uh, you know. Would, that would, wouldn't have been allowed in the industry back in the old days that would not have been loud mm-hmm. because most of the time you were not an owner operator you worked for a company so when you owned it and you operated yourself you could do you know pretty much as you please 
but um, that wouldn't have been accepted. And the lady should have a little more respect for their safety because temptation is a um, monster master. Temptation will get you into a whole lot of trouble. Sometimes it's best just to be able to slide through the cracks and be unnoticed. Yeah, but it's a lot of it's it's a lot of it's a lot of females of the day, you know, TikTokers, you know, and I'm I'm using that as an example because that's that's the go to app right now. The app to go to before was YouTube, but it wasn't utilized as it is with TikTok and you know all these female truckers that's popping up on the app and and just you know just what it is, but you say. That that wouldn't even that that wouldn't even been allowed and or it wouldn't have been it would have been more so for safety purposes to dress occur I mean uh, yes. currently right for safety because going down a dark road late at night something happens you don't need to come out of that cab looking like a hoochie mm. because that gives the wrong message. I hate when I go go to the truck stops. I won't name the ones I go to, but the things that I see walking in that parking lot, I I'd be like, what? And then they're gonna get up in that truck with them little shorts on, and everybody is looking. Yes, we Everyone. are. Yes, we are. But you know, there's there's always an end to every bridge. Mm -hmm. And it takes a while before you learn that end, but they'll grow up and learn. So what do you think? Or why why do you think? And I'm 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 I wanna say truckers as a whole, but female truckers don't get the respect that they deserve in this industry. No, they don't, and they they don't merit the respect if they don't dress appropriately. Mm -hmm. They should dress appropriately for the job. Because if you're looking all like you were trying to attract someone's attention, I mean, you're going to notice the color red over the, the color black. Because mm -hmm. it stands out more. So if you want to stand out, you can't be upset with the way the treatment that you get. Because you're asking for it. Mm. Some, some females may disagree with you on that front. Well, they may disagree, but they have to. They can't see what the other person sees when they're looking at them. See, they only see what they're putting out, but that other person is forming an opinion in their mind when they look at you. Mm. Well, and said. then when they disrespect you, you're like, "Well, why did they do that?" Because you're presenting yourself, as the old folks say, "You're looking easy." Mm. Well said. Well said. Um. All right, so Janine, yo, yo, shout out to the She Trucking uh Facebook group, by the way. Um, she Trucking, I love you, ladies. Y'all press on. You be careful out there. Mm hmm. And be wise. That's what's up. You um, you you presented a post in in the group, and it it peaked my interest in bringing you on to uh to talk about what happened um you uh you 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 posted something to the effect that you the the state took your license yes now you said the state of alabama oh, so are the, you now you said alabama I live in alabama now you you said Alabama, but you said you was born you you lived up in New York though. No, I used to. I'm uh, now in Alabama. Oh, okay, okay. You was born. Was you born and raised I got in New stuck York? Here. I was born in South Carolina. Mm -hmm. Then I moved to New York for thirty years. Oh, okay. And now I'm in Alabama because I got stuck here. Okay. Now. But, and I. Okay, go now, ahead. Now let's rewind back to uh, New York right quick. I hate New York. <laughs> uh, outside Queens. of New York, Queens. Oh my Queens. God! There it is. 
being now let me ask you this now you said for 30 years so that's just about the same amount of time that you got you know you got your license so you got your license up in new york i got my license in south carolina oh i've been all over the place honey oh okay okay all right so <laughs> but you, you now for for a new a person that's living in new york but also a truck driver how did that affect <laughs> how did that affect you driving you you probably you, you probably got some some super ass skills now, right? The, oh, I can drive in New York, honey, and the Jersey Turnpike, all that. I'm fine with those. Woo! Uh, but the Teamsters in New York, mm -hmm. they did not like women, and at that time they weren't taking women in school. So I went down south and went to school, right? And got my license in the south. Then I came back. And they're like, okay. We're going to have to do something with you. <laughs> uh-huh. So we're going to do something. Oh, they did. They did. But they did it so gracefully, so kind, and so smooth. It, it, it really didn't hurt that bad. But I didn't like it. I got you. But they I did it with grace. I got you. Things change for you. And it it kind of got a little bit better. What was some of the, did, did you, now let me ask you this. Did you go the owner operator route uh, throughout your tenure or did you, no, or did you, you it was know, too go, expensive. okay. It was too expensive. Now, why, why you say that? Because a lot of people want to hurry up and get into the owner operator route. Well, at that time, back then you had to sit. Uh, a used a used setup would have been maybe eighty thousand dollars. Wow! Back then, and that was not a, it was not going to be comfortable. It was not going to be comfortable at all. It's not this luxurious stuff that you have now with all these bells and whistles and wonderful gadgets. No, mm -mm. it was absolutely plain and rough. Mm. And as technology came up, so did the trucks. Trucks are now like little palaces mm -hmm. where there's plenty of leg room on the inside. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a bed or you have a little apartment. It's just wonderful now. Hookups is easier. It's just so much better now. So they're coming in in a time that is wonderful. What was some of the what was some of the companies when you when you was able to drive tractor trailers? What what was some of the companies, if not major carriers, that you drove for? I only I only did only did government. I only did government. Okay. That's the only thing I did. I went government because I couldn't get on at any of the other places because of the union. They they wouldn't take me. And then I went over to school buses because that was the way it was. Okay. All right. So fast forward to uh, Alabama taking your license. How how long ago was that? And why? Um, that was in 2012. I went to get a renewal, mm -hmm. and now I'm, I'm I have severe arthritis from living in that icebox of New York for 30 years. I have severe arthritis, and I have to use a wheelchair. So when I went to get... All right, so repeat what you okay. just said. Uh, you, you went to the DMV. You was you was about to get your license. To get a renewal. Okay. Get a renewal. And I'm in a wheelchair, so they said, um, come into this room. So they pulled me over in another room, mm -hmm. and they said to me, you're not allowed to drive uh, any uh, tractor trailers. I'm not allowed to drive any buses. And they have another little bus they were telling me I couldn't drive. And I couldn't drive a bunch of people in a, one of like a party bus type situation. Yeah. And they took my CDL. And I asked them the reason, and they said, well, you're in a wheelchair. And I said, but I drove here today. And they said, no, it's a safety risk. And they took it away. Oh, my God. They, oh, they... They literally, a bold face, 
said because you was in a real chair and they took they 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 took a part of your livelihood? Yes, they did. They sure did. Now now that's some that's some BS right there because I just recently saw a video of a handicapped uh, CDL driver get into his 18-wheeler out of his wheelchair into the truck. I also well, seen, this was a few also, years ago. I also seen uh, a trucking school that was offering wheelchair-accessible training to their students that was in the wheelchair. They actually built a lift on the side of the Volvo that they was using. And, and someone had told me about that. And then I seen the another lift. and then I seen another video of a gentleman that was in his wheelchair fueling. Okay. In Alabama with a straight face told you you because you was in a wheelchair you 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 wouldn't have been able to drive can you can can you go and 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 fight that and let me ask you this you said you got your cdl in north carolina would you be able to in go south carolina i mean in south carolina would you be able to go back to south carolina to re-get your license it's possible but you know what Alabama did some other things for me that was so great that it it made it okay. Oh, they fixed everything. You know, they they took one thing away, but they've given me so much more. Oh. And I said, well, you know, sometimes bad things happen for good reasons. They took that, but they gave me so much more, and they helped me in so many other ways. And I'm at a better financial state here than I was in any other place in the United States. All right. Great. More blessings, you know, it, more power it, to you. We have to take the lemons and make lemonade. Exactly. So, so you know, I, I was okay. I was okay. I said, okay, I'm, I'm going to be okay. I was mad at first. Mm -hmm. And then I said, hmm. So I don't need it to do uh, the dispatching that I'm getting into. So I'm okay with it. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, now, because of your your arthritis, is the reason why you're 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 in a wheelchair. But you you could still walk and everything else, right? Very little. Very little. I can walk, but it's not great and sometimes I'm just in so much pain I just want to sit down so it's okay because I would need that extra energy and I still long distance drive I drive to New York I drive to New Orleans I go all over I drove from um, Vegas to California but um, I don't truck anymore but I'm going to get back into the industry by helping other truckers. That's what's up. That is what's up. That is so awesome to hear. Uh, Jeanette, thank you. I, your story your, your story is very intriguing and uh, very, very insightful and very inspirational, man. I mean, you know, like I said, I was I was I, I, I was kind of heated when when they did that. But, you know, as you. As you explained, you said it was a good reason, and you you are now in a better place. Would you, Lashawn? I want you to remember this: mm -hmm. every time a door mm -hmm. slams in your face, another one, and another one, and another will open for you. Yes, ma'am. And as black people, we have to know this: it has happened over and over again. You just have to have the faith to believe. That's what's up. Do you now? Now I know you. I, I know you got. You know you said because of health issues and everything. Um, did trucking con constituted some of your health issues or no? 
Um, well, I was at, I was on, on a bus, uh, the second driver, and he had an accident. Mm-hmm. Um, poor circulation in the legs from sitting. Uh, high blood pressure from the stress and the tension of driving because you're always thinking, looking, improper rest. It all contributes. There's no place like you're being at home in your bed. No place. What if what advice uh, you got? What what advice you got for some of the truckers, for some of the female truckers out here to 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 you know, to make sure they, they're in better health so they can, you know, strive for eat you know, well tra- uh trucking. Eat well and don't overwork yourself. Don't do it. Do do what you need to do to survive, but don't overextend yourself. And with these high payments of these trucks now, I don't know how those ladies are doing it. I, they're just blessed. They're just blessed. They really are. And my hat's off to them. So there's some strong females. That's what's up, man. They are all alphas. My last question for yeah. you before I let you go. And again, thank okay. you. Thank you. Because I I I really enjoyed the conversation. Uh you are a citizen. So whenever you want to come on and, and sit back and relax and talk with me, you're more than welcome. On on air or off, it doesn't matter. It, well, I, I, I'm going to tell I you think, how. I, I think I'll the come ladies, back and tell you a lot of things. I think the ladies, uh, the ladies can can definitely, definitely learn from the value of knowledge that you have. Um, but with that said, what do you think is wrong with the trucking industry today? Well, it, there was nothing. You know what? There was really nothing wrong with it until COVID hit. Mm, okay. It was running pretty smooth. They were allowing um, people with all different religions to work. Mm-hmm. They didn't matter whether you were female. They didn't matter whether you was gay. Everything was going pretty good till COVID hit. Mm-hmm. And COVID hit, and that a lot of drivers retired. We don't have enough people coming in to replace them. Uh, uh, the shipping problem has played a big hand in it. Mm-hmm. So until we can get rid of this COVID and this shipping problem, the trucking industry is going to look like they're the problem, but they're not the problem. Mm. They are the, one of the solutions within the problem. Do you think we have a driver shortage? Oh, we definitely do because a lot retired. A lot of them retired because, believe it or not, germs are on packages. <laughs> the, my mailman, my mailman, caught COVID and was sick over a month. And he does, and we, you know, I live in the country, so he don't be around people. He drives from house to house in a little truck. And he got sick. And he got sick, and he said it had to be from touching those packages. Hmm. Hmm. Just like me, last year, all last year, uh, 2019, 2020, no problems. Wearing my mask, washing my hands, staying the distance, playing poker, all that. Nothing happened. 2021 rolls around. I go get the shot. And then all hell breaks loose with me. And oh, then no. everybody everybody and their mama, oh, it wasn't because of the shot. Yet, Yes, it was. It had to be because I never had it. I never had it. Mm. I wasn't, I was not my right hand to God. I was not sick until I had the shot. Shot. I went. 
that 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 Saturday, my my son went with me. I sat there in the chair, and I was I was hesitant, but I went through with it. I asked the lady a couple of questions. She wasn't able to answer any of them. And I looked at Sean, and I was like, you know what, man? I, I don't know. But my son, he took the Moderma. He's okay. Okay. My mom's, she took the Moderma. She's okay. My, my son's uh, fiance, she's okay. I, I said, okay, well, since I'm out here in the world, hold on. I, I said, since I was out here in the world, I will go ahead and I will go ahead and take it because all you guys have it. I mean, you, all you guys took it and I'm the only one that's out here mingling, doing essential work. And I don't want, you know, boom, took it. It was the Moderma, took it. Went into the room, waited 15 minutes. Day, the day I took it, it was okay. The day after, I was okay. That Sunday, I was feeling some kind of way, but I thought it was a cold. So I drunk, had, had my son to bring me home some soup, some thermoflu, all that good stuff. I went, got, got in the truck Monday. By Wednesday, I was fucked up. Oh my God. And by and and by Friday, I was done. I was done. Friday, I was done. I went to the house. I got I I got home. I called my son. I told him I was on 90. I said, bruh, I'm coming in hot. I said, I'm on 90, and I'll be, I, I said, I'm coming in hot. I was I was speeding doing the speed limit, if you know what I mean by that. So uh-huh. I got home. He helped me out of the truck, got me in the car, got me to the hospital, got to the hospital. They they said that they they didn't make a long story short at the hospital. The first time they didn't do nothing. I went back home, came back to the hospital because Something was going on. So they they took the COVID test and all that other good stuff. And that's when they told me that I had COVID and I had pneumonia due to COVID. Oh. So so oh, yeah, man. I I agree that COVID changed everything. And to this very day, they still using COVID as an excuse. For everything, why you why why you don't have why you why you don't have no uh, employees because of COVID? Why why truck drivers can't come in to use the to use the bathroom because of COVID? COVID. So what's why, the use of working? It, why why truck drive why why truck drivers is still getting treated like shit because of COVID? COVID. So, yeah, you're exactly right. COVID, <laughs> until it goes away. COVID has really, it was it was some problems before that, but COVID just gave them an extra layer of things they can hit you with. Mm-hmm. You know, and um, it's just it's just ugly. You know, it's just ugly. You pull over now, you're feeling bad. They want to give you a ticket. Oh, it's just, it's just ridiculous. Mm-hmm. But it's going to, it's got to go away. It's, but it's going to be like almost five years. It's going to be a minute. We're going to have this thing. Yep. Yeah, it's going to be about five years until the people really realize that we have to work together. But the shortage, the, we need a big food shortage because if we get a big food shortage, we get a, a, a product shortage. People are tightened up. We have to be made as people to do right. Mm. We just don't walk in line and do right, you know, automatically. We have to be forced. You know, if you beat the mule, he'll work. Damn but sure. if you just let him do what he wants, he he just do what he wants. 
So we have to be beaten down. But I, I don't want it to hit the, the beautiful ladies that are out there trucking. I'm hoping that we can get those ships unloaded and the stuff distributed. But if we don't, we don't. That's what's up. That's what's so they up. don't want to pay you. They don't want to pay you. The loads are terrible now. <laughs> that's that's a whole like nother conversation. Sure. We we can we can come we 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 can we can chill on that right there. That would be a whole nother conversation for us. I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it. Me class kids went pop. Death to the hater won't stop. Let's talk key scales won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. Me and Mozart could bars you got bops. Heard you writing Tiffany, a whole symphony. You a symptom me, but go off. I'll make a masterpiece for you, or at least it's gonna hit like rum, bum, bum. Y'all fit to me like the symphony. Your career's done, done, done.